My bags are packed. Jacket. Easy. My flight leaves in three hours. I'm ready. See you later. <laughs> For real. Today was really special. We got a look into what it's like to live with the Amaru community of the Andes. What I find fascinating, their appreciation for what they call Pachamama, Mother Earth. <laughs> we engage in this beautiful ceremony. Nosotros compartimos la alegría o la tristeza siempre con la hoja de la coca. A culture and a people honor the earth, give a blessing to Pachamama. I think we have more to learn from them than they from us. Someone pulls out this big knife. I thought it was going to get ugly, but we went through the process of making from the wool to the string. I have all these people are just running around. I see they're scurrying off and they're zooming one way and the other. <laughs> What's going on? They were like spiders. They were like moving intricately on this web of their community, knowing exactly what to do. And this, this is probably the best souvenir I could get from them, other than a poncho. We're gonna eat this. Okay. Don't look. Beautiful. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's gonna be our lunch. See the contrast. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're gonna be checking out salt ponds, and uh, there's about 5,000 of these salt ponds. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Salt. I've met up with this really amazing tour guy. His name is Wilfredo. Samuel Andrews. Salty. I think Wilfredo really understands what I want to experience here. Hey, you, you salt bag is waiting for you. Le puedo ayudar con, con la bolsa? Ah, sí. Just like the Inca. Where are we going? It's like a little cakewalk. Hola, señor, ¿cómo está? Ah. That wasn't easy. I think we'd do that for 10 hours a day. 50 kilos each bag going up and down these salt ponds. Thousands of year old tradition. I'm a little tired. Chicha! Beer. That's my hero. Hanging out, having a beer. Nowhere else in Peru can you find something like this. So he who controlled the power. Hmm. <laughs> Chicha, dude. It's the Chicha. tiene el poder. Let's go lift some more salt. Wow. So when it comes to adventure travel, there's probably a few iconic experiences you want to cross off your list. Maybe an African safari, or a trek through the Himalayas, or even a road trip through the United States. And of course, one thing you wouldn't want to forget is being here right now, looking over the lost civilization of the Inca, and of, of course, Machu Picchu. I mean, to build, to construct these massive temples at such high altitudes with pure manpower, it's beyond words. What I've come to realize by being here in this land is that that lost civilization of the Inca really isn't lost at all. It's found every single day in the people, the culture, the artwork, the food, and the stonework. And for the traveler, you can still feel that connectedness today. Thank you.